The next morning started off just like any other Sunday. Lindsay and Joy attended services at Katie's Church of Christ. Emily stayed home to recuperate from her marathon. It was a beautiful day. I mean, it was blue sky, fall, not a cloud in the sky. And I even said that day from the pulpit, this is going to be a great day. After church let out, the champions returned home. Just after 11 a.m., Lindsay Champion's sister Lisa heard loud gunshots coming from her brother's house across the street. I just thought it was very unusual that time of day. And uh, I got up and went down to the bedroom, and I heard something at my door. And it was, Lisa, Lisa. So I come down to the hallway, and there he is at my front door. Your nephew. Right. And he's got the pistol in his hand. His wrists were taped with just a small amount of duct tape around his wrist. And he's saying, call 911. And ma'am, what's your emergency? Uh, my nephew, Ryan Champion, just came to my door, and his wrists have been tied with duct tape. And I haven't been able to find out what, what's wrong. He doesn't appear to be injured, but I don't know what's happening. While still on the line with the dispatcher, Lisa was able to get a bit more information from Ryan. And he said, this guy that liked Emily busted into the house. And I said, do we need an ambulance? And he said, yeah, we need an ambulance. OK, ma'am, where would I be sending the ambulance to? Right across the road. I'm going to go over there with him, OK? Okay, ma'am. Lisa's brother, Lindsay Champion, was just a young boy when his parents moved to the family farm in the late 1950s. Lindsay and I, we, we had a bond because we did so much together. What kind of man was Lindsay? He was fun. He was funny. He had a very dry sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Lindsay met his wife, Joy, in high school. They married soon after graduation in July 1972. Tell me about your sister. She was just joy, just like her name. She taught school, she loved her students, and she was a wonderful teacher. While Joy was in the classroom, Lindsay worked as the director of a farmer's credit union and was an elder at the family's church. He was devoted to Joy and his family. I never heard him say a bad word about anybody. Good God-fearing people. But despite the couple's happy marriage, there was something missing in Joy's life. So she had several miscarriages. Yes. She lost a couple of babies, and uh, it was hard. They wanted a child. Lindsay and Joy doted on their son. Then, when Ryan was five years old, a miracle happened. Joy was able to conceive and able to carry up until full, full term. And Emily was born April 29th, 1983. Joy and Lindsay loved their two children and treated them equally. But like many siblings, Emily and Ryan didn't always get along perfectly. We did begin to notice that whenever Emily would get attention, then he would do whatever he had to do to get the attention away from her. That's a sibling rivalry, perhaps. That kind perhaps of... so, yes. As the years went by, Emily and Ryan took very different paths. You know, Emily knew from an early, early age what she wanted to do, and she set her sail, and, and she accomplished what she wanted to do. But Ryan didn't seem to possess his sister's ambition. He was bright, as bright as Emily. He just didn't apply himself. Where Emily set goals and worked and studied, he didn't want to do that.